You guys are amazing. Okay, update time. It's been two weeks since we did that video. And you all deserve the story. Okay, so you have all blown me out of my mind. I just can't even believe what, what has happened in the last couple weeks. Can't believe it's only been two weeks. Um, I'm just like, what? Anyways, here's some details. So you have all raised, get this, I can't even believe this number. You've raised $58,700 on this GoFundMe page. You guys, this is incredible. You've like also on buy me a coffee, 3000 and a couple people did PayPal. So 300 on there. Thank you, everybody. Oh, just blown away. And I'm like, well, what was I even worrying about? You guys are just totally behind my back. I feel like I've got like a whole posse here with me. Amazing. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We fired the previous um, contractor because they just didn't do their job. And the new company, Zach's uh, Building, is taking on our project. And they are going to be starting in the fall, hopefully. So the total cost um, after a deposit, I have already given them $12,000. Um, the total cost with the ground prep and the electrical and the heating is going to be $158,630 for this new shop. So. Um, that might sound like a big number, but you guys have put a serious dent in this. So I've got a savings uh, after the deposit. I have about $50,000 in savings. I always plan to finance a bit of this shop, but it's a whole lot less now. Basically, what we're ending up with is that I have about $112,000 with what you've given me to go against this shop. That's a huge dent in this place, in this in this uh, shop cost. So um, a lot of you saw that I decided to leave that GoFundMe up after 40,000 was reached. Um, so many of you told me to just leave it up there and pay for the whole dang thing. I don't think I'm gonna let you do that. That's a bit too much money, but I am gonna, I did decide to put it up to 74,000, which um, would get me to a little less of a, a debt load at the end of it. So that's about $15,000 more to go, um, but I'm gonna cut it off at the end of this month, even if we don't reach that. Um, you guys have just done more than enough. So, so the company that I was gonna go with before, I won't say their name, um, we're still in talks. I've got a contract from them that they did, did the stop order, stop manufacturing um, contract, and that I have sent to my lawyer who's gonna be taking a look at it tomorrow. So I do not know um, if the contract is, uh, I'm gonna put, you know, like I didn't wanna just sign it because I don't trust that company at all. So um, I will keep you updated on where we are on that. Hopefully um, that we'll be able to get some of our money back. You guys like pressured the heck out of that company. You like, once you saw what had happened in the story, I was just so proud of you guys. My community just blasted them and they, within six hours or less, the CEO had called me and said, please take the video down. We are getting so much bad, um, so much bad rep and, and like just, um, you did it on like Better Business Bureau. You gave them reviews all over the place. You were calling, you were emailing. They were just getting blasted. So the actual um person who i was working with they did get a demotion which i think they needed a different position in the company i don't want anybody to get fired or lose lose their job but they did need to to switch it up there and you guys made a huge difference you made a huge difference to the company and the people who use them in the future and you made a huge huge difference to me and and like you gave me a voice basically i i can't believe the outcome of this whole thing. It's just a miracle. <laughs> so I will keep you updated on whether we sign that contract um, and we might be able to get back maybe some of our money from them, which would reduce the debt load even further, but we don't know yet. So I'm going to keep 
keep you updated on that. But anyways, I love you all and you are so amazing and you just blew my mind and I can't believe that I'm sitting here today with this new shop on the way and everything in such a better place. I just feel like a million pounds have been lifted off my shoulders. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you wonderful, beautiful people and supporters. And I will leave the GoFundMe up uh, for the end of the month and whatever we're at, we're just gonna stop it on the last day of July. And it doesn't matter if you give, if you pray, if you encourage, these are all so precious, uh, such precious gifts to me. So I will never forget you guys for this. And all of your encouragement has, like I was in tears for, for hours just reading all your comments and I wanted to read each one of your names. And I have a lot of writing to do to put all those names on a piece of plywood to hang in the shop. So that's gonna be really fun too. Also, I will be doing a few pieces of furniture as um, a draw to win in the future. I have that in the works, um, as well as a draw for a free restoration or like a certificate to get your piece restored. So I'm gonna draw that from the names of those who gave. And uh, yeah, so there's some exciting stuff I'm gonna plan in the future because you guys just deserve all the thanks and um, you deserve, each one of you deserves something in return for your kindness. So, um, yeah, just been working in the shop a little bit. Well, the shop, my garage, and trying to get it cleaned up. So let's head out there and check that out. Um, and I have a little special treat for you at the end. Some of you have been asking about my furry friends. So little updates on that too. So let's head out there. In support of our new shop and all we do here, the Woodworkers Guild of America has brought this video to you today. Woodworkers Guild of America is your online resource for all things woodworking, repair, and finishing. They offer instructions, ideas, and so much info. They are constantly uploading new and updated content, always curated by experts in their trade. There are quite a few excellent clamping videos, as it is actually a more in-depth subject than one might guess. George Vandriska's video on clamping larger items for even pressure is an in-depth and succinct look at the use of cowls. I plan to use his method of repairing a cracked table leaf due to water damage shown in detail on his video in repairing a cracked table leaf. If you would like to join this community of woodworkers ready to help and answer all your questions, good news! The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description of this video will get a full year of premium membership for only $1.49. So come join us! All right, so I've got my makeshift clamp wall up. Starting to find all my clamps in this giant mess. Whew. And I've been working on getting this side of the shop cleaned up here so I can put some stuff against the wall. I've sold these shelves, so I'm just gonna come pick these guys up. They're the same as the ones that are over there. They're nice shelves, but I don't have enough wall space in this garage, so yeah. So, because this is gonna kinda be the spray booth area, I'm gonna put my two metal cabinets here with um, my flammables. So these two guys here, I'm gonna pop against the wall and that'll really open up this middle uh, so I can start organizing this giant mess here. <laughs> but it's uh, looking better, if you can believe that. And uh, I gotta get my, this is kinda where my main workbench is gonna be. And I believe I'm gonna be putting this big blue workbench that my dad's had for so many years. So that's gonna be my main workbench right there. So yeah, I'll just uh, let the camera run a bit while we're getting all this stuff organized and uh, just let you guys enjoy the process of setting up this uh, temporary shop because you guys have funded a new shop which is amazing. Anyways, um, yeah, this is fun. This is really fun, especially with you guys.
<sighs> Time to take the load off. Look, we have floor space. Shaping up, guys. Still a giant mess, though. Well, things are taking shape here in my garage, my temporary shop, and it's been coming together for a while here, but I think it's time for a break. I think I'd like to take you guys over to the barn and go um, either meet Ellie or see her again. We have another video of her on the channel from in Ontario, but let's head over to the barn and um, let's feed my horse and maybe go for a little bareback ride. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna make her dinner first. I like to feed her some black sunflower seeds and alfalfa hay cubes that I just soak. So I usually like to make it at home so that it has time to get all soft and fluffy. And then of course we can add some yummy molasses treats. Here we are at the barn. It's a nice barn with a bunch of stalls. A little wash bay. And me and Ellie mostly ride in the arena. So let's go get her. Hi, sweetheart. You are such a sweetheart. I'll let you guys guess which one you think is mine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, the skiers are bad today. Hi, Ellie. Hi. This is my girl. We just had a big rain last night, so they are bad. She's a little agitated about that. Right, Al's Bells? Good thing you got that fly mask on. Okay, let's get this off. Okay, everybody, surprise horse. <laughs> there you go, Ellie. Eat some food. These mosquitoes. Oh. She's pretty dirty from rolling. Let's brush her while she eats. Hi, right, sweetheart. Sorry, honey. I know it's such a hard day.
It's very hot today. Me and Ellie are already over hot, or too hot, overheating. <laughs> so I'm just gonna park you guys over here and we're gonna do our thing. So enjoy. I'm just gonna get on and walk around for a little bit. We're kind of in between saddles right now, so we've got one on order, but the other ones I have don't fit her, so we're just doing bareback. you might not know that Ellie is actually mostly blind she has some sight left but we um, have been losing sight in her eyes progressively over the eight years that I've had her when I bought her she could see mostly and we did a lot of jumping uh, we never made it to competition but we were training that way and um, did a lot of really cool stuff together but she started to have issues and I eventually took her over to the Guelph University Hospital in Ontario and she was diagnosed with a detached retina. So we have done a lot of work over the years to help her to be a normal horse and to be trusting of me to be able to ride. So um, it's really quite incredible um, her confidence and her trust. So I hope you enjoy just a little bit of us together here. Can you go touch? Can you go touch? Right there? Can you go touch? Right there? Touch? Touch? Yes! Perfect! <laughs> That's all we're gonna do today. See you back at the shop, guys. <laughs> 